Hi, Edwin Mayatello here. Uh, today, I'm really, really excited. And the reason why I'm excited is because of the topic we're going to talk about today, which is how to learn from your mistakes, right? Uh, because a lot of people, they think that uh, making a mistake is the worst thing you can do. Probably it's because of the, uh, the education system that most of us go through, where you are told, teachers always tell you that uh, you are not supposed to make a mistake. If you make a mistake, it's the worst thing you can ever do. But in the street world or in the world of business, right, making a mistake is the best thing you can ever do, right? Provided you you do certain things that will help uh, uh, help you out in that uh, mistake that you have made. Okay. Um, so what? How really should you deal with mistakes? Well, it takes us back again to the first lesson that we learned as children. Remember when you were growing up, right? When you we were learning, especially when you were learning how to walk, what you used to do is you'd uh, you try to stand up, you fall, you try again, you fall, you try again, you fall, you try again, you fall, but you never ever gave up. Why? Because you, you knew that the more mistakes you make, ultimately you will do it right it's it's, it's in us right but it's that thing that uh, uh, sometimes over life people lose it and once you lose sometimes the people lose it quite early in their life sometimes they lose it much later in life because maybe of the pressures of life or whatever pressure they may be facing right and that thing when it happens to you right you you, you tend to lose it all right it's very important that you keep that that quality Right, and uh, there are a few things that actually happen when you when you, when you make a mistake, and one of the things that does actually is you get upset, right? And uh, there are a few lessons that that I want you to learn, and especially I learned something from Robert Kiyosaki, right? Uh, that see when you make a mistake, these things will happen to you, right? Most people what they will do is they will. Uh, they will lie about it, okay? Things like it wasn't me. Uh, things like no, 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 I can never do that. Right? They just lie to themselves, right? And because of that, they miss on the lesson. And some people, what they do, they will blame other people. They say uh, it's because of 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 my partner. It's because of my wife. It's because of this, right? And that's not how to do it. Okay, once you find yourself in that, then you're you're a blamer. You like blaming other people, right? And uh, the other thing that uh, a lot of people do is that they they, they justify themselves. They justify us, right? This is where you say, "Well, I don't have a, a a good education, so that is why I don't get ahead. I've never been educated. I've never been I've never been to school." Right, I've never done any kind of business. Right, once you find yourself in that, realize that you're a justifier. Okay, you're justifying yourself. And then the other type of people are quitters. You know, they say winners never quit and quitters never win. So if you find yourself quitting, say, Oh, I don't want that thing anymore, I'll never do it again. You must realize that uh, you've missed it. Okay, the other thing, which is the fifth one is that some people find themselves being deniers. When you're a denier, uh, the person who denies that he or she has made a mistake often says things like, no, there's nothing wrong, things are fine, or something like, mistake, what mistake? Things like, don't worry, things will get, will work out, right? Those are deniers, right? If you find yourself in that kind of a state, right, you must realize you are, you are really, really running into big time problems. So what should you do then? What you need to do is you need to admit you have made a mistake and never blame anyone for the mistakes. It doesn't matter whether you are you working in a project with somebody else, learn not to blame them, but blame yourself, right? Because when you blame yourself, a lot of people don't understand when you blame yourself actually you find where the problem is and you solve it 
But every time you've ever blamed anybody, there's no solution. Because imagine, right, you bl blaming me for what has happened to you. What will happen? Nothing. Unless I change, your life will never change. But if you blame yourself, you find a solution. Very, very important principle. And always don't look for when you when when you when you have made a mistake. Look for the wisdom, the, the things that you, the, the wise things that you learn from learn from that lesson, right? Give yourself time to breathe really deep, and begin to see what kind of lessons you missed, or what kind of lessons you have learned. And and when you go into that, most of the time you find that that's actually the time you really discover something that you actually learned in that lesson that will take you uh, somewhere, right? Because sometimes it takes many years for us actually to come to, to, come to that, right? Um, I remember many years ago, my mom used to tell me a story, right? And this story, I'm just finishing now. This story was about how, um, she took me to hospital at the age of two, and I was almost dying, right? So much that, and at that particular time, she'd run out of uh, out of water, so she had to give me water from the puddles on the road, right? And through that, I managed to survive, and she managed to take me to the to the near to the near it wasn't nearest clinic, it was like a far away clinic, and she was walking there, right? She would tell me this story when I wake up in the morning, tell me the story at lunchtime, tell me the story anytime during the day and even in the evening, right? She told me this story until I got sick of it, right? And, uh, but it wasn't later on, many years on, when I was almost like married, having children, that I realized actually my life centers on that story. She wasn't actually telling me the story. I believe it was actually God speaking to me, the oracles of God, teaching me stuff. If what I learned from the story is amazing, right? So sometimes you just have to reflect because I believe from that story, let me just finish off that. From that story, I learned that uh, I'm, a, I'm a resilient person. I'm a person who never gives up. I'd fight until I win. If I don't win, I don't quit. So I'll never quit, right? So really, really great stuff. So if you look at things that way, instead of blaming my mom, I, I, I now see it as, a, as an opportunity, right? So do that and you see yourself success, very successful. Please make sure you share this video with, uh, with all your friends, uh, comment below, and, um, and also if you click below this video, you'll find a link which takes you to where you can literally get a free marketing source PDF and also you'll be able to see my life plan which I use and also you'll be able to uh, meet with my community and please make sure to say hi to them. Thank you so much and talk to you again soon. And if, if oh by the way if you are you don't you are in a place where you can't actually access the links just ask for them. Thank you so much and bye for now.